live at Lollapalooza on 105.7 The Point. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in St. Louis, I am unbelievably thrilled and honored to have the chance to speak with, with Devo. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's so rad to meet you and to see you and to know I'm going to see you later today. We're on the, are, are we going to be on the point? You're on right now. Oh man, that's so great. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, uh, first of all, the new album uh, is is out now. It's been out for quite some time. Uh, the lead single off that was called Fresh. I thought that it was a really, like, a cool 2010 version of of, of Devo. Like, it, it just seemed to, to kind that's of progress to us too. perfectly. Yeah. You know, how is it that you guys can continue to be, I mean, you started out different, and everything that you've made is different. I mean, there's nothing to me that, one, sounds like something else that you guys have done. I mean, you kind of seem to be groundbreakers and trendsetters, sort of. Did you start out to be that way? Um, not on purpose. We just, it was, we were just following our DNA and coding. That's it. That was it. It was just what you were meant to do. It wasn't until we left town, left Ohio, and went somewhere else that when everybody was going, geez, what, what is this? And we're going, well, it's what we do. <laughs> right, right. I mean, but it is it, it is just different. Is the best way that I can possibly uh, describe it in the best way possible. The stage show, everything is just really well done. So what do you have in store for us today at the festival? I mean, anything kind of different? Well, the important thing is, is that we'll be talking about the, um, the issues, and that's de-evolution on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we're just reminding people to use their minds. Because there's there's clearly not enough of that sort of thing happening these days. Yeah, there's a lot of wasted brain power, I think, on this planet. Can you imagine what would happen if we harnessed that unused brain power? I mean, what 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 the things that we could be like, the things that we could make happen if we used it? Well, we might all turn into dolphins and and be, be a lot smarter than we are now. <laughs> so, do you guys look forward to this sort of you know like festival? Will you see other bands? You know, I guess I just view it as a little bit different than if you were like a younger band just getting started. Of course, yeah. I mean, we've done a number of these, but it's it's always great when you walk out on a stage like this and you see that my old people be out there. You know, it's like you don't get that any other place. And all the other bands on the stage watching. Yeah, you know, they think of us as kind of the, the crabby grandpa, the sexy crabby grandpas, you know. <laughs> of Lollapalooza. That's that's how the other bands think of us. Are you okay with that? Uh, you know what? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot of mental undressing going on with some of these bands looking over while we're playing, but we, we can handle it. How many times do you guys get bands coming up to you saying, oh, my gosh? Every day. Yeah. And how do Every you, single day. How do you take that? I mean, it, it's an honor, I'm sure, but... We, we give them a dressing down. For Charge sure. them five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> You, you owe us for what you do. That's very nice. And also, too, one of the things we talked about, Josh Freeze manning the kit for you guys. Yeah. yeah. That guy is a machine. He's how, very good. How did you know? <laughs> I didn't mean to spoil the surprise that for everybody. That explained how we get along with him, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's great to see you guys. It's very great to meet you, but I, I don't think that it is uh, possible for me to do this interview Without Any my without that, oh, yeah. you look really good. In without it, my dude. without my hat. Okay, now wait a minute. Do you feel differently right now? Do I feel differently? Yeah, you're starting you to feel a You will in a minute of, if you. It's a little tingling. It's an energy dome. dome. So it's coming. It's is dome, is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to tell you though. Oh, oh there know, it went. There it just went. Just let you, you know. Um, it, it will enhance your sperm count. So be careful. Make sure you use condoms unless Listen. you're ready to add another child to I, the world. I had two kids in two years. So probably all you need. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty good. I, okay. On that front, it actually yeah, but sort of makes like just even walking down the streets, things are going to start happening. Well, oh. then, um, you know, our advice to you is just shoot somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wise words <laughs> from the gentleman from Devo. So, what can we expect though from here on out? Like, you know, you 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 got back together. You know, you've been back together for a little while, doing festivals and things. Made the album. I mean, is this going to continue? Will there be like another Devo album? Will there be more tours, well, or are you done? Well, we're hoping Rascal will. Uh, will uh, become our endorser, uh, yeah, our endorser yeah. yeah and then we can ride rascals on stage and uh, you know keep it going for a few more albums very good uh-huh gentlemen thank you so very much for your time i am so sorry if this interview was terrible i was so nervous no, i didn't no. know what to do with myself it was a wonderful interview <laughs> ladies and well, gentlemen we all pooped our pants so, you know. <laughs> It is awesome. Wait, we'll no, I didn't. No, <laughs> give him a minute. So we you have, have got prunes for Bob. We've got Devo here uh, live at Lollapalooza. It's Donnie Fandango for 105.7 The Point. Thank you, gentlemen.